Hello everyone, this is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I will be discussing and going over Mythic Beta. And before we get started, I must say, by that artwork alone, you know, Beta's artwork, I have to say, I love that look. I just love the whole... The whole outfit and the crow or uh, raven on his shoulder. I just love that whole get up by Beta. And I have to also say that between Beta and Waylon's artwork, those two artworks are probably my favorite artworks so far as far as mythic characters go. And, uh... I hope everyone is doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing good and staying safe as well. And let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Mythic Fighter Spotlight Beta Alpha Second in Command and eventual de facto leader of the Whisperers while acting as Alpha's personal bodyguard Beta is known for his extreme loyalty and utter disregard for outsiders. A towering and brutal man, he is also very protective of his identity and always hides behind his whisperer mask. So, here we go. See, there's that really, really awesome artwork of Beta once again. I just... I know I sound like a broken record, but I really love that out artwork. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. His role is support. His trait is strong. And his alliance is the Whisperers. And he is a decap. His adrenaline rush name is Target Elimination. Deal 300% damage to one target. That target gets 70% heal reduction and 70% slow for three turns. His signature move is Lay Them Low. Attack an enemy for 140% damage and remove all positive statuses from that enemy. His mythic abilities are... Cunning. When attacking or being attacked, 15% less likely to triggering en enemy weapon effects. Like for like. Whenever an enemy is healed, this character gets plus 20% defense for two turns. And Scalp Collector. When attacking targets with less than 30% HP, he will get plus... 20% attack. Okay. Beta is a surgical striking support designed to open an enemy to teammates attacks and keep them out of the fight for the long haul. If the enemy is running healers, Beta is the pick. Use your signature move to remove all positive effects from an enemy Leaves them wide open to attack. Follow up with your rush to slow your target and keep them low on life with heal reduction. Because Beta will be running into a lot of defensive weapons, his cunning mythic ability will help a ton. Alright. My thoughts and opinions about him. Obviously you know what my thoughts thoughts are on his artwork don't I feel like I don't need to <laughs> go over that again let's go over what he actually does <sighs> and I have to say I don't want to say I'm disappointed but I'm kind of underwhelmed to be honest I was hoping for more by beta <laughs> I really was mm, I've heard comparisons uh, from, you know, from pe just different people that have said they think that this is pretty much the, um, 
you know, they've compared Mythic Beta to S-Class Marlin and Rosie, and it's a shame, but I, you know what, part of me kind of agrees with that, unfortunately. <laughs> And hopefully when he does come out, maybe they'll give him some kind of buff in the future. That That's what I'm hoping. Because I really love his look. I think he looks really cool. He looks really awesome. And it's just a shame that he's getting compared to S-Class Marlin and Rosie. Like just his adrenaline rush there. Lay them low. Hmm. That could be interesting. I mean, obviously we'll know once these mythic characters in the whole Conquest update comes out. Um, the Adrenaline Rush is kind of underwhelming to disappointing. Um, the 70% heal reduction isn't awful, but Alpha does, what was it, 60% heal reduction and infection, so Alpha so far... As far as what she does and what he does, she tops Beta, and I was kind of hoping it would maybe be the other way around, but uh, that's not the case. But I don't know if I would pick him up. I mean, maybe he does have D, D cap, but D cap can be useful in the game, but. Alpha's Headhunter is, I'd have to say Headhunter is just one smidge better because you do not have to rely on the particular tune to take care of another tune. With Headhunter, you can have any of the other five be, you know, take care of that character as long as they got the, um, you know, the crosshairs on them. And, um... But obviously, obviously, I love his look. It's really, really awesome. But he's kind of underwhelming just a bit. Perhaps he could be used more as a defensive tune or support. It's kind of tricky to say right now. But uh, I think that's going to do it for this view for this video. If you guys want to jump down there to the comments and tell me what you think about Mythic Beta. Or just to simply say hi, you may. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like my content, subscribe to see more. It would be much appreciated. And to those who are subscribed to me already, it is very much appreciated. You guys are very awesome, and I thank you again. I want each and every one of you to have a magnificent day and magnificent weekend as well. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buckbeak. And I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time. Bye guys.